Hey everybody, in this video I'm going to be uh, loading up this guy right here. This is a pencil popper. And upgrading it and turning it into this right here. Um, going to be loading it with some BBs. And I'm going to show you guys how I do it. So stay tuned. And if you are not subscribed to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell notification. And uh, let's get on going. All right, I apologize if the lens gets blurry and lots of wind noise. I just have the GoPro today. Don't try this at home, it's super sketchy. Got one. Fish on by small. Small, he's on top. Cut me straight in. They're like way out there. Jeez. Schooly. <laughs> Small guy right here. Ugh. They're all mixed in there. Ugh. As soon as it gets out of that strike zone, they don't want it. Whew. Oh, I'm tired. Sorry, before we start, why are we modifying these, all right? Um, if you guys have been watching my our videos, our striper fishing videos, um, we fish for freshwater stripers. Um, that's what we have down here in Oklahoma. Um, and in the southern freshwater states. Um, the reason why is because we, now unlike the um, saltwater guys, our bait here is a lot smaller. We, they, they're usually just shad or panfish. That's what the stripers usually eat here. And if you're lucky enough to have trout, they'll go after trout. So our bait is not big. I do always carry around a bigger pencil popper, but if you can make a smaller lure act just like the bigger one and cast just as far or further, um, that is basically the name of the game. Uh, you get out to them, present them a lure that matches the hatch, then you're going to have a good uh, chance of uh, landing a striper. And as you guys can see in my uh, fishing videos, uh, I do pretty decent on these. Um, don't get me wrong, you could just take this out and put it on a surf rod or, a, or like an 8 foot rod and go out there and smash stripers. But um, sometimes it gets to the point where maybe the stripers are just too far out and you need a way, a way to get your lure out there. And the easy way to do that is to load up your plugs uh, and uh, cast it out there. Uh, with my plugs, I usually load them up to two ounce. Uh, that's what my fish, my current rod, my TFL rod likes. So, as you guys can see, I have I wrote two. Here, I wrote two point two, and uh, it's not pretty up here or anything. But the strippers don't really care. Um, you can take some rattle can and paint that in if you want. I do sometimes, I sometimes I don't. But yeah, my my uh, my surf rod uh, really likes two to two and a half ounce um, plugs. So this particular plug, I could only reload up to 2.2. That's the heaviest, which is fine. I still cast really, really far with it, so. All right guys, so before we start loading that one plug, I'm gonna show you guys, this, this is my typical top water loadout that I uh, do for the summer and into the fall run. So as you guys see, this is a Missouri Hydro Pencil. Beat up, because it works. Uh, I Favorite color is of course chrome, black top, 
for bone. This is a bone color. Hydro, hydro metal. So, yep. Uh, <clears throat> also load up the spooks. I tend to load them up and then write their weight on the bottom or on top. Somewhere on the lower so I know how heavy they are. And, um, yeah. Uh, this is a high amount little stick. 2.1 ounce. Uh, these are super strike uh, bullets. Uh, I don't load these. These come really nicely weighted. Um, and I do keep uh, different colors of them. This is a tsunami talking bobber. Loaded up as well. Loaded up to two ounces. Um, yeah. So this is my loadout. These are just extra plugs that I carry just in case. If I lose one, then I kind of have backup. So these are basically like my go-tos. And then these are like the backups. Here's a hydro metal that I have not. That's still stock. I just took the hardware off. This is a... I won't, this is basically the, the plug that we're going to be uh, plugging t uh, loading up today. One that looks just like this. And my uh, this is a hidden super spook. Um, really, really good cheap lure. If you don't want to spend a lot of money here, this guy you could find at Walmart for like, uh, I think I've seen it as low as three bucks each. So, yeah, I have this guy in the normal favorite color, which is just kind of like silver black or. Oh, bone color so yeah that's my loadout this is my top wire loadout currently so what i just throw in my bag and uh, head out when i want to do some top water fishing at the dams all right so before we get started here are some of the things that you guys will need to gather up before um you know we you could actually do this so what first things first is you obviously will need a top bar lure. Um, again, today we're plugging this one, which is a IMA, but you can plug any top bar plug that you want. As long as it's got a hollow um, body, it should be fine. You also need a, a drill with a bit. Uh, you don't have, this is a step bit, which you don't need. Uh, if you just get like a quarter inch drill bit, you'll be fine. You also need a pair of uh, um, split ring pliers. This is a Texas Tackle uh, split ring plier. I uh, really like this plier here. One of the best I've used. Um, you're also going to need a printer marker, uh, a hot glue gun with extra uh, glue sticks. So this is what I'm using today. You also need to run to the kitchen and grab the food scale because you're going to be using that too. Alright, so let's get started. Alright, so first thing we're going to do is obviously take the floor out of the box. Here we have an Aima. Looks kind of dirty right out, right out of the box. So first thing you're going to need to do is remove any of the terminal tackle on here. So uh, this stuff, you know, you can fish with it, right, um, you know, you can fish a cast driver with this. I just don't recommend it because they are pretty, pretty weak. Striver is one of the best fighting fish that you'll catch. So. Go, so yeah, go ahead and remove all this tackle. You can either save it for another lure or just toss it out. Me, I just toss it out. So all these split rings are pretty underpowered, basically. So I go ahead and remove them. Yep. So here you go. So now we have this plug and we are ready to mark drill some holes and um, throw in some BBs but uh, before we do that before we do that um, so usually these plugs 
most plugs have chambers in them and have rattles. Uh, most top wire plugs um, are weighted in the back and that is exactly what we are going to be doing. We're going to basically drill some holes, throw in some BBs and weigh the back even more. And that's important because that will help you when you're casting. This thing will uh, be back end heavy and it will cast like a bullet far out. Alright, so this guy right here, he is um, a solid color, so you don't know where the chambers are inside. So a lot of times, if, what I usually do is I just um, guess and drill one or two holes, and then just, that's how I put my bees in. But if you could use a clear lure like this, this is a super spook, same as this one, but clear. You could kind of you can see where all the chambers are where the chambers are located so like right here you can see there's one right here uh, and then the rest is hollow so what I would do with this one is I'll drill a hole here and maybe one up here and I'll fill, fill up the um, the chamber with BBs uh, and then use the food scale to measure the weight since we don't have one on here I've guessed it before and found that um, the Ima uh, have small chambers or ribs that run through them and uh, that will give this lore, even though it's not a wire through design lore, um, it actually gives this lore pretty good strength so to handle like bigger fish. So what this or what I had to do was basically find the chambers and drill three holes into them. So that's what we're going to be doing here. So this is where you take your printer marker uh, and basically just kind of eyeball mark where you're going to drill this one right in the center here. Mark where you're going to drill and uh, just carefully drill a quarter inch hole into your plug. So let's do that now. Now you're gonna make a mess, so make sure you have a vacuum close by. There and there. There you go. So I've made my three holes here and I'm going to blow out all the plastic that's gone in there because you want as much room as you can. Uh, clean this up really quick. Well, I don't know if you guys can see it but yeah you can kind of see it but if you guys look right here inside the hole you guys can see the chamber wall right there and there's one, this one here, this one here. And I believe there's one up here that separates the chambers. And that's why we had to drill three holes in, in this guy. Alright, so here comes the fun part. Um, we are going to basically start putting our BBs inside our plug. But yeah, this is where the scale comes in. Make sure you want to zero out the scale. I usually start my scale and I'll throw my hooks, split rings, and my plug on it just to see how heavy it is. So basically, um, this is my starting point. I know how heavy it is. And then from there, I'll put in my BBs and measure, keep measuring until I get to the weight that I want. And then you remember, you have to compensate for the hot glue as well because it adds about uh, 0.1 ounce to it. So let's get started. Um, take this 
There's no easy, simple method to this. I don't use a funnel or anything. I just sometimes I just dump it on the ground. Sometimes I line it up, shake it. Use fingers to help uh, guide the bees in. It helps if you just kind of shake it. That's basically full right there. So then I go to the next chamber, do the same thing. Now, you guys gotta be care gotta be careful when you guys are taking off the hooks, obviously. But then you also gotta be careful when you're playing, um, you're heating up your glue hot glue gun. Now's a good time to turn it on and make sure it gets pretty hot. And hot and ready to go basically because we're gonna be using that really soon. Trying to record this and um put in my BBs. <laughs> Kinda of challenging actually. Didn't think it was gonna be challenging. Shake it around. So that chamber is almost full. So you basically want to stick as, as many uh, BBs in there as you can. If you guys know an easier method to this, let me know. Alright, so that, that looks pretty full right there. Can't sh really shove any more in there. You could probably shove one more right here. But let's go ahead and do this one up here. So usually my rule of thumb is uh, I just want to fill up my plug halfway and I try to keep an eye on that. But with this plug, I've plugged it before and I like plugging all three chambers uh, to the max basically. All right, so we got our plug loaded up, basically it's to the max. I cannot fit any more in there. Put my hooks on here, put my plug on here, and see how heavy. 2.1 ounce. So yeah, this lure is gonna be like a 2.2 ounce lure, it seems like. All right, so with that, this lure is basically ready to get hot glued. So what I usually do is I take one BB out and I take my hot glue and I usually start with the, the top one. Basically put the tip onto the plastic plug and squirt in some glue. And then once it gets full and starts coming out, I, I'll back up and stop. And then I'll throw that one BB back in. And the reason why I do that is because this BB will actually um, plug plug up the hot glue gun, and it'll keep actually keep it from the glue from flowing out. So pretty hot. So that's the first one. Basically, I'm just gonna be doing that to um, the next two. Don't worry about it being, this is the messy part, but don't worry about it not being perfect. You always go back over and like, and put more glue. This is hot glue, but if you want it to cool faster, you can run this over to the sink, run some um, cold water over it, and this will harden up, harden up right away. So let me do, go and do that. All right, so I just ran ran my uh, plug underneath some cold water. Glue is nice and hard now. Uh, if you want, just give it a minute or two to cool down even more. And then after that, you can take it. You could just basically put your hooks on right now and go go fish with it. But sometimes I get kind of um picky and i want my lure looking as good as possible so 
Right now, you can take a, a knife or razor blade and just basically level out the holes with the plug. I don't really recommend you guys do this, so do this at your own risk. So, yeah, razor blade cutting through. That's one side. So I try to keep my BBs low because of this, because if I do have to go back and cut it, I don't want to be hitting that BB. Man, this usually takes me like two seconds to do, but working behind the camera and try to record this is actually tougher than I thought. Yeah, so just kind of like clean it up as much as you can. It's pretty good right here. And then if you want, take a lighter. Heat it up really quick. Smooths it out even more. Really quick. This is a little torch lighter. So, and from this point, I usually just put the hooks on and it's ready to go. Um, so let's go ahead and weigh this guy. Turn this up real quick. Alright, let's make sure this guy's zeroed out. Alright, here's my hook and split rings. And here is my plug. And alright, that looks like it's going to be a 2.1 ounce plug. So with my marker, on the bottom or the top, I'm gonna write 2.1. 2.1. So that's how you know, that's how I keep track of um, my plugs and their weight. So because I'm upgrading this and making it heavier, uh, I also like to upgrade the hardware that comes with it. This is right here. These are 5 watt and 4 watt. Um, 4x strong inline BMC um, hooks right here. I love these hooks. Every uh, top bar lure that I have, I upgraded singles because when you hook a striper, and let's say you hook the back hook, well, if there are trebles, that front hook, it's either in the fish, call it doing more damage, or it could get in your hand. And I rather have if. I'd rather not get, have any hooks in me, but I'd rather have one hook than two or three hooks in me. So, yeah, I always upgrade to singles. Um, and this is what I prefer. I like these, and I do like the Mustad inline, inline hooks as well. But I like these uh, uh, Coastal Black series that it'd be in. I usually put the 5 I always put the bigger 5 watt in the back because most of my hits come on the back. And sometimes I just run it with only the back hook like that. But sometimes if the fish are kind of finicky and they're not taking the whole plug, I do put the front one in. If they're just bumping it, it gives me a a um, better chance of hooking up. So, 4 uh This is a VMC. I think it. I believe it's a hundred pound rated split ring. These are heavy duty split rings. You guys can see that. Yeah, it's also in that uh, coastal black. I'm just gonna put two hooks back on. It's gonna go on like that. So, again, be very careful when you guys are handling hooks. Yeah, this plier makes Putting hooks on and off easy. So as you guys can see, I do face my hooks downward because if I'm getting, if they're coming in and swapping up from the bottom, I want that hook ready and not this, not facing up. I want that hook ready to go. And 
gotten really good hookup ratios with this. Basically, I haven't really noticed a um, uh, a difference between going to singles and uh, staying with the um, trebles. So yeah, so that is basically it right there. Here's my two twin bone colored Imas, uh, also a favorite. So yeah, like this one, this one turned out a lot cleaner than this one, but yep, got my weights on here, both ready to go. Uh, sometimes I put like little red marks, makes it look like it's an injured um, bait fish. In the gills, this one I haven't done that because it's right, it's right out of the box, and that's it. Sometimes um, these hooks do come up and get stuck like that when you're retrieving it. Kind of sucks, but still alright too. I don't mind it at all. And that is it. That is how you basically load up a plug. Uh, doesn't have to be an IMA, like I said. It could be any um hollow top water plug you could do this too and basically if you just follow these pos this on uh, these steps um you could do it to anything out there basically hope you guys enjoy that and i'll see you guys on the next one i'll leave you guys with this footage of me fishing these plugs so thanks for watching guys and i'll see you guys on the next one That's what I'm using today, a loaded plug. Yeah, it's really small. Damn. Light bass. Oh, a little striper. Oh my god.
kind of picky. They're like all over my lore, but I don't want to hook them. Come on, let go. Yes. They're like, uh, like all over. Uh. Small, another schooly, no head shakes, just coming right in. It's not a bad fish, but I want the big ones. Woo! Careful now. Jeez. Easy release. Hey everybody, thanks for watching, but stop freeloading. We need you guys to hit the subscribe button, the like button, and the bell. And be sure to follow us on Instagram and Facebook, and we'll see you guys on the next one.